Uh, I came out when I was 27. And um, when I came out, I also reclaimed my Jewishness. So I realized that I was never going to be somebody who fit into mainstream culture, so I might as well be all of who I was. And that was a big part of it. So the two identities for me really go hand in hand. And um, one of the reasons that I write books for kids and teens and adults with LGBTQ content is because as a Jew, I take very seriously the notion of tikkun olam, which means repairing the world. And every Jew at birth is charged with this mission of repairing the world. It's understood that you can't do it by yourself and that it may not happen in your lifetime, but that doesn't excuse you from the task. And so my way of repairing the world and to me, that means making the world a safer place, especially for children and teens, but for all of us, is to write books that um, depict LGBTQ life in a positive way. So uh, my mentor was Allen Ginsberg. I studied with him at the Jack Kerouac School of Disembodied Poetics at Naropa Institute. And um, when I... I left there and he came to Northampton, Massachusetts to give a poetry reading uh, a few years later after I stopped working with him. And I went to his sound check to see him and say hi to him. And he greeted me very warmly and he said, because he was, Alan was always interested in everybody's sex life. So are you with boys or girls now? And I said, girls. And he gave me a huge fatherly hug. And he said, I am so happy for you. You were so miserable when you were with boys. And Alan was born the same year as my dad. My dad did not have the same reaction with, to the news. And so Alan was really a literary father figure and a literal father figure to me uh, during my coming out process. So um, my first book of short stories was called A Letter to Harvey Milk. And the title story is told in the voice of a 77-year-old Holocaust survivor who has a creative writing teacher who's a lesbian, who gives him an assignment to write to someone he knew who was no longer living, and he writes this letter to Harvey Milk, and then his life kind of explodes from that. So uh, when I wrote the book, or the story, that particular story, I read uh, The Men in the Pink Triangles, which uh, talks about how men, gay men were treated during World War II, and um, Number Our Days by Barbara Meyerhoff, which is uh, about a, a community of Holocaust survivors in California, and The Mayor of Castro Street by Randy Schultz. And so I took those three books and I kind of dumped them into my head and then pulled the string like a salad spinner, and that's the story that came out. I w he was assassinated in 1978. I came out in 1983. Um, but so learning about his death reinforced my determination to live my life openly and as an out lesbian, which I always have. I've never been in the closet at any particular point in my life. The only time I would ever be in the closet is if I felt my life was in physical danger. Um, but I just think it's really, really important. I think if, if I, I know that if I had out role models when I was growing up, it would have saved me a lot of pain, a lot of inner turmoil. Um, I would have uh, come out much earlier and I would have been much happier. So first of all, my mentor, Allen Ginsberg's book, Howl, was also um, brought up on obscenity charges. So it's kind of interesting that, that he was my mentor. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Go ahead. My mentor, Allen Ginsberg, he had a book called Howl that was brought up on obscenity charges. And uh, it went to court. Lawrence Ferenghetti was his publisher, and um, they won the court case. Um, the judge deemed his book um, that it did have literary merit. So following in Alan's footsteps, my book, Heather Has Two Mommies, has been banned, burned, defecated upon, stolen, protested. It was read into the congressional record. Uh, many, many things have happened with that book. I wrote the book so that kids who have two moms would see themselves in a piece of literature 
and have them valid, it would validate their experience and also so that other kids would see that there are many different kinds of families. Yeah, which is very important because alphabetization is a huge issue. Exactly, exactly. So let's I really feel what's most important right now is fighting for and with and protecting trans people because it's just really rough out there and um, we need to be allies, we need to be supportive, we need to listen to what trans people have to say and do whatever we can to keep them safe. Exactly, I mean, if you read the reports, most if not all the hate crimes are people, people of color trans. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You be you. You are the only you. Everybody else is taken. So be yourself. You are a gift to the world and you make the world sparkle.